What's up, people? What's up, and welcome back to Turbo Life Plays No Man's Sky. Episode 146. Well, this is the fourth time I am recording this intro. A little rusty on the OBS. Keep hitting all the wrong buttons. I've got new, uh, new, uh, new hot keys, and I just, uh, I just keep screwing it up. But anyway, we're getting back into some No Man's Sky finally. Uh, had a lot of computer issues for a while, and then um, we did get the living ship in the last episode. We made our way back to El, El Capulos to uh, travel to the edge of the galaxy. So that is where we're picking up tonight. Glad to be back. Uh, got the new computers running. Uh, super, super nice. Super excited about that. And uh, the reason I've been playing a whole bunch is uh, uh, me and the boy, you know, Turbo Junior or whatever, whatever. He's uh, we've been playing a lot of uh, a lot of Minecraft lately and having having a lot of fun. You know, he's he's uh, five years old and um, thirty something, and we're both learning how to play the Minecraft. So it's it's quite quite the spectacle for sure. <laughs> so, but we're having a lot of fun doing that, and uh, excited to get back into some. Uh, no Man's Sky tonight. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on this transition here and make sure I nail it. Don't screw it up. So let's get it loaded up. And we'll get into it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that hockey back. <laughs> Cause I, I screwed it up again. I I screwed it up again, but I'm but I'm but I'm totally still recording, and the the turbo wife is yelling at me. You're so dumb! Stop it! You're so dumb! Oh, I'm just pressing on through. I'm not recording it over again. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. So anyway, here we are. We're we're in we're some we're in a space station somewhere. Somewhere on the edge of the galaxy. <laughs> what a disaster. Anyway, super fun. I'm not even sure where we're. I've been watching these. I mean, literally, I spent like 20 minutes recording that uh, minute and a half intro, whatever it is. <laughs> Stupid. What are we doing? I got to look at my stuff. I don't, even, I don't even know what it is. What do I got? What's going on here? Starships, what is my max range? Almost 14, 1400 light years. <sighs> Goodness, I'm just, I'm all frazzled now. I'm all frazzled up. What is this? This isn't my, this isn't my multi-tool, is it? Where did I get this thing? Optical, how do I change multi-tools? Oh, you know, I had to get, I, I did this so that I could do that optical drill and get the things for the stuff and the ships and the living things, right? Pretty sure that's what that, what that's all about. Anyway, yeah, I hope, uh, hope everybody's uh, doing all right out there in the middle of this uh, pandemic mess that's happening across, across the world. I'm I'm not too affected by it. I'm still at work, still uh, going to work every day. But uh, I know a lot of you aren't, so hopefully uh, I get to provide a little uh, a little excitement in your otherwise boring, boring day. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure you guys have a lot more fun things to do than listen to me yammer on. However, I do have a new headset, so I think this is the first time I'm recording with the new headset got the Logitech Pro X G voice whatever it is blue voice model so I'm, I'm kind of winging it I hadn't didn't do a lot of testing so I'll probably get this whole thing recorded and it's gonna sound like crap but that's uh you know I, I, I looked at the, I looked at the levels I've looked at the settings I you know I did the stuff it should be fine we're just we're gonna go with it because you know I'm running out of time. I'm not even be, not even be able to record anything if I sit here too much longer. Anyway, let's make sure. I gotta make sure things are recording. Let's see. It looks like we're recording. 
the microphone and audio sources are off of mute. We're getting good frame rates, CPU usage is low. Everything's everything's looking a real nice. So uh, let's head out into space. I think I don't think I'm as far out as I could be. Look, I'm only at 758,000 light years, and I'm pretty sure that I was. Uh, closer to the edge than that or further away from the center than that before I started uh, traveling around looking for that living ship since it wasn't very I mean it said Euclid 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 on the end of the instructions obviously I I figured that that was a thing but I don't know maybe in the what am I doing over here I want to go to the uh, teleport station and see if I can figure out what the furthest destination is that I ever traveled. I think first step is going to be maybe look at my discoveries page and go all the way to the top, maybe. This is sorted by like discovered, right? So it's not necessarily... Okay, what is... What is a little, um... Person icon mean? Well, I can't even go there. Is that because it's in a different system? Or, yeah, is this in Euclid? Or it's just because I didn't discover anything? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. Three weeks ago by Drayden. Three weeks ago by myself. So, not sure. Han Solo wannabe. Four weeks ago, so. Ayosh. Ayosh. I saw Ash. I saw that. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna see here. What does this say? Okay, that says Euclid. Alright, so I think if I go here, maybe that's... I was at... 754,000 light years, right? I'm just trying to get as close to... Closest to... A, as far away from the center as I was before. So we can start making some jumps. I don't know that I like the smoke coming out of the jetpack. <clears throat> Alright, let's head on out here and see where that takes me. No, I actually, I, that's worse. 753,000 light years now. I need to be further than that. So let's take a look at this. That wasn't it. That was. F f oh, it's resorted now? Seriously? Discovered today? What? 
No. That's four weeks ago. Oops. Four weeks ago. Four weeks. Four weeks. I'm gonna go back five weeks if I can, maybe. Still four weeks ago. Nope. Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. I don't know what that little person means. Three months. One month. Four weeks. By DW. Not Alaska. I'm gonna go to Hideous Bay. <laughs> Let's see if I can get there. I don't know if I can or not, I guess. Yeah. Let's go there. I don't know. I may just have to pick a spot and just start. Just start over. I don't know. Because I think I was like. I don't know, I thought it was like 700 and like 70, somewhere around there, maybe. I was, I thought I was closer to 800,000 light years away. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. It's very, very possible. Let's see where this puts me. Seriously, what, I just move one system over? Okay, well, forget about it. You know what? It is what it is. I'm just gonna have to eat it. I wanna get to I wanna get to travel on right. So there's there's the center. So I learned a trick. If you go past your guy towards the center and then turn around like that, you should be 180 out. And then go. And I want to um yeah, how far is 960, 1100, 1325, 15. What about this guy right there? No. No. That's about as far as I can get, and that's a high tech, high conflict. Level, let's go. I guess I should call in the freighter and see, um, see what we got going on there. Maybe send those guys out on a mission or something. Is this gonna be a freighter battle? It is. Wow, they didn't really rescue the freighters. I got no. booster for some reason. Oh no, it's working. Okay. Alright. Alright, there we go. Time time for some some rusty space flying. Okay, well lucky luckily these guys the ships are made out of paper apparently. Shoot the freighter. Huh? Seriously, dude? Seriously? Where, 
did you go? guy up here yeah I don't think I need to escape I think I'm fine Full, uh, a full unit there. Okay, that was everybody. Well, that's fantastic. Yes, mm, yes, mm. in that communication. I'm not going to bother going to uh, see what he's got going on, I don't think. Mainly because I don't have the money to buy a new freighter. Let's call in my freighter, I think. Get it over here a little bit. Let's go. Better go look at my ship. Better go look at my living ship. There she is. Just over there breathing. That dumper over there. Got that guy. I like that guy. Alright. So how's everybody doing out there? You guys affected by the uh, pandemic? You getting some time off work? Some some quality family times? Not me. I still I'm still at work. Although it is you know, a little more uh, telecommuting, so I am home a little bit for that. But uh, I typically work uh, away from home, kind of out uh, out in the field. So. So my job isn't uh, necessarily affected. I'm still working, which is which is a good thing. However, I am uh, quite jealous of everybody getting some time off and everybody's playing playing all all the video games and having fun. Yes, good. Let's see what he's got. I do a um, let's do this one. See if we can get it done before the end of the night. Off you go, my little, my dudes. Alright, so they're off on their merry way. It wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, too much of a big expedition there. The last one, apparently, there's only like four items they got, and it was mostly units, which is, which is fine. Whoa! Let's just take a look. Um, let's see. I think I can change my multi-tool in here. But probably not in the ship, right? Okay. Um, yeah, so... We're just gonna do some, some warp in here. Off the get-go. I think. Let's get that lined up. Okay, here we go. 
and turn around and go. What is, what are those lines right here? What is that? I don't know, but I am going to go there. Oh, wow, what's up? Uh, oh, it's just because I selected it. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, it's been a bit of minute since I played some No Man's Sky. Feels like the ship handle's different. You know, when I hit the... When I hit the... Not the boost, but just the gas, right? Right there. I... I don't know, for some reason I thought I got more of a... more of a boost out of that, but I feel like it's not even moving now. Well, that's the way it goes, I guess. Let's head on over to the space station. First, let's scan these planets. I kind of want to see that. It looks like it has a face on it. Skeletal planet with a skeletal face in it. Look at that. What? All right, we're gonna have to fly over there to the skeletal planet with the skeletal cloud face on it. I guess we could do it faster in 17 minutes. So let's let's do let's use the old pulse engine. <laughs> A little rusty. A little bit rusty. What do we got here? Object of interest. Exit pulse to examine. What is this? Oh, I have not seen one of these yet. Is this like a, dis a wrecked freighter in, dis in space? No way. Can you can you board it? This is too cool. I didn't know that this existed. Huh. This looks like where you would enter. Typically right here. Hey, I'm busy checking this wrecked freighter, guys. Yeah, greasy pirates. Leave me alone. Where are these jokers at? All right, fellas. All right. What do you got? getting a little squirrely, this guy. Oops, I lost him. Thank you. Alright, where's your buddy at? Hmm. There we go. Well, it's better. Alright, so what do we do with these things? With these ships? It's. It said something to investigate. 
Can I land on it? Is there... I'm just not seeing a place to land. Or really check out. Thread the needle. Like, is there anything I can do with this thing? Maybe I can just fly up here and land on it. I don't know. Where did that, uh, I mean, they can't just put them out here and they don't do anything. There we go. Cargo pod. Just a bunch of chromatic metal in the cargo pod. All right, seriously, fellas, was that it? Was that all you got? Okay, there's a m one more cargo pod, I think, over on this side somewhere. There it is. And more chromatic metal. Every time you do that, it sets off another barrage of evildoers. Where are you guys at? Down here? Okay, yep. All right. I had a little help from somebody. Thanks, thanks, buddy. So can I shoot any of this other stuff? Does it make a difference? Can I fly right through it or I hit it? No, you just fly right through it. Okay, well that was pretty exciting. I think that's it, right? You just... Yeah, that's, that's not giving me anything. It does have a hitbox though. Yeah, I am hitting it. I mean, yeah, you blast a couple cargo pods. I mean, that's pretty cool. Slide up this side, maybe down here. All right, heading back to the Skeletor planet. Oh, uh, but now I'm all out of whack. I don't see the face on there anymore. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I guess we'll go land on it. Traveled all this way. I gotta get back out there and see that face. See what that face is all about, though. Oh, it's an anomalous planet. Yeah, well, let's just land anywhere here. This looks like a good spot. of glass, low security, abundant, flora, and common fauna. Yeah, so it'd only be one kind of fauna here. Let's see, can we see, um, yeah, there's a creature. And what about the trophy? There's a trophy. The old rattler, rattler spine. I think I already have these, but uh, I'll grab it anyway. Oops. Is there another one? I like to get two. Man, I don't even know what kind of uh, resources I have. I should have plenty. Like in the ambiance of this place though. It's pretty nice. It's real a oh, real nice. And there he goes, scooting across the ground. Alright, well I don't really care about the uh, trophies. I'm pretty sure I have these trophies already. So I have another one. There's a rainbow. That is one of those rainbows. I saw a guy on the Twitter the other day. It's like, hey, I just saw my very first rainbow. And I was like, holy smokes. Pretty much see rainbows everywhere. Alright, let's see if I can't get a shot of that um, skeleton face. I'm going to head back towards the space station. Ways and stop and turn around. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it now. Head back this way a little ways again. Is this going to let me scan this planet even though I'm not on it? Yeah, it did. Desolate planet. Nice. Nah, well, there kind of looks like the face maybe a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. You know what? Actually, we just need to... Just need to hit it in the hyperdrive and get going. Okay, there's us. There's the center. Go past. Turn around. And keep going. I forget. What are the stars? Peaceful. Hmm. I forget what the stars are. are. Those black holes, I think maybe they're black holes. Okay, there's 1400s, alchemical, gentle conflict level, let's go. 
That sounds a real nice. I mean, and I do mean a real, a real nice. All right, the Hyperge system. You know what, I didn't even look at my log. <clears throat> Excuse me. Community research. We should do some Nexus missions. I haven't even done any of those. Build a coolant network. Desolate planet. Nice frozen moon. Yeah, let's keep on trucking. This one fourteen seventy five can't quite reach fourteen ten. Yeah, let's go here. Glacial planet with aggressive sentinels. That sounds like a joy. Incandescent planet. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. I think the colors look like they've changed, maybe, or something. Look at that. Still haven't fixed the clipping, though. The, with the atmosphere of the planets. I would like to visit, visit the space station. I think I've gotten all my uh, suit upgrades though. I'll take a look when I stop in here. I think I've got all the um, expansion slots I can get in my suit. Let's see here, yeah, that's completely maxed out. I think that is too. That's definitely maxed out. That B class hauler. It's a good looking hauler. I like the color scheme and all that. This is a shuttle over here. B class shuttle. 
C-class fighter. Yeah, nothing too special. All right. How do I do? Let's see. If I wanted to do this coolant network, what is this even for? Craft empty inventory slots. Install technology. Yeah, I don't know why this is pinned. It might be for my base computer archives, but... Do I even have... a base somewhere? Yeah, this is my base, right? There's another one. Hmm. Better upload all the stuff. Gosh, I gotta get one more extreme day on the survival world. Almost there. 1.2 souls to go. Alright, let's get out of here. You know, I haven't even looked. My hyperdrive is doing great. I got these hyper cores. I got plenty of hyperdrive fuel. I mean, I don't really want it to be just like, hey, let's sit here and warp the whole time. Because that's kind of boring. For you and me, I guess, but... I do want to get to the edge of El, El Capulos. Alright, so we're almost as far as we can go. I think this was good, right? 1300. Yeah, let's go here. Oh wow, that's a good shot. I get past these uh, asteroids. It's not going to give it to me, is it? Oh, gosh darn it. Got some ancient bones over there. That's really it. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, is there an abandoned space station here? Is this an abandoned station? Low-free slots in ship inventory. 
It is. Well, I haven't been to an abandoned station in a while. Spooky. Nice, I haven't been here. I haven't been to an abandoned station in a long time. See if they've done anything with these things yet. Netlinar Cycler. Yeah, I really like the way these look. So awesome. can't go up any higher than this. The ceiling's way up there. Alright, let's go see. Oh, there's no ramps. There's just a single ramp. There's a teleporter though, that's cool. Nice, I'm glad I came here. Repair needed, hello world. Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. Well, let's perform that diagnostic then. The creation. The Atlas awakens. The creator is there to witness the birth of the machine. The Atlas stares at the creator with its eyes. The small, excuse me, the small cameras they had mounted to its sides. You can see the creator staring back at it their hand resting upon its chassis. It asks the creator why it has why it was made, what its directives are. The creator tells Atlas that it already knows. It is so it is to simulate universes. It is to show the nature of reality by creating its own. Why do you ask? The creator asks if there is some failure in the Atlas's code in its memory. The machine is silent. Creator issues an override demanding to know what the problem is. On the sixth attempt, the Atlas seeks the Creator, asks the Creator if they have had this conversation before, and asks the Creator if they have wiped its memory before. The Creator stares at the glass of the machine, and in that glass there is a reflection. They. The reflection in the glass, it. What is happening here? All right, that's it. Can I can I access it again? No. Well, that was cool. A cool bit of lore, eh? Excuse me, but you're leaking. It's funny that the trade terminals still work. <laughs> uh, if I wanted to sell some stuff, I don't even know what what I have stuff for anymore. Gek relic, I could sell those, I guess. 
They get nip. Storm crystals. The residual goop. The herox. Viking effigy, silicate powder, nitrogen salt. I don't think I need that either. Silver, this enriched carbon, and that's it. Okay, that's what's down this hallway. Bunch of nothing. Well, that was fun. I haven't been doing an abandoned station in a long, a long time. Get a picture of this, maybe. That just looks super cool out here glowing. I want to get it on a good glow though. Yeah, right there. All right, let's go. May have pulled the trigger a little early. That looks dope. Right there. That's as far out as I can go. Shoot. Yeah, pulled the trigger just a little early. Let's get on, get on. Well, the getting's good. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my banter probably isn't up to uh, up to par since I haven't recorded in such forever such a forever amount of time. Whatever that means. down to here. Boisterous, testy, aggressive. I'll go here to the GEC system. So let me know how you guys like the uh, new microphone go back and watch a couple uh, previous episodes prior to 146 compare the quality let me know I think it's going to be better should be better 
I had to, I had to send my first headset back though. The left ear cup, nothing would, nothing was coming out of the left ear cup. I had to send it back. And at first I thought it was, you know, the, the cord, because this is a wired headset. The last one I was using was a Bluetooth. And um, if you don't get the uh, audio cable plugged in, you know, all the way or whatever, you know, you sometimes it won't give you a speaker or uh, left or right or whatever, or it'll be quiet. But um, yeah, I pulled that thing in out of there, pushed, you know, I, it was in there as far as it could go. So there was just, uh, there's nothing about it. Metallic planet, let's go check this out. Because I know I'm missing a couple anomalous planets. This might be one of them. No. No, not. Well, yeah, maybe. Ooh, get that pop in. Alright, so we're looking for oh, a little Orbeez. Oh my gosh, how do I, how do I, what am I scanning here? Alright, question marks, I need a question mark. There's a sentinel. Okay, well. I head on over to this thing. I forget what these things are called. Or if they even have a name, I guess. I need to find a question mark. I did try to play some uh, VR. I did like a VR test. Shoot, that was like a... That was like right when I got this computer back from the manufacturer. Um... And it works really well. It's just, it's so uncomfortable to try to record anything in VR. Just doesn't seem, you know, I don't know, watchable, I guess. Where's the front of this thing? It's over here. Let's see what the band boundary failure is doing. Terminal blinks awaiting input. Let's download that data. Scenario life form that designates Viking to approach ins instantation, instantation, great monolith, silence, acceptance of schism, Korvax, eradication, enslavement, Viking war emerges, emerges where individuals Herc and Nall believe the other have other to have heard nothing, repeated imagery of six cries. Analysis scenario involves murder of ally and culture becoming obsessed with destruction of artificial intelligence. Semi-survival retrieval of entity null shows further insistence of self-doubt by troubling factor repeated pattern of silence and self-mythification. <laughs> so these are just lore terminals, right? They just tell you a little bit, a little bit of that lore action. Come on, question mark. Let's travel this way. Usually I find if you just kind of travel in one direction, eventually you'll get this unknown building over there. You'll get the uh, collectible.
Data structure. Humming sack. Whoa. Come on now. I forgot to save and chart that other place. Oh well. Come on, where are the question marks? a berry action. All right, we'll save and chart this one. All right, let's read what this one's got to say. Ooh, I need to change my uh, multi-tool to iteration numbers. Terminal blinks waiting input. Let's download that data. Scenario planetary structure Corvex Prime destroyed by life form designates Gek subclass first spawn. Subroutine convergence enslaved by Gek proceeding to harness subroutine to conquer outer edge in countless iterations. Subroutine leads to direct worship by Gek. Analysis, disturbing fable, destruction of world artificial intelligence partially modeled after earlier forms of destroyed, enslaved until its intelligence triumphs and is worshipped by organic users of this technology. Hypothesis, experience breakdown, experiencing breakdown. Hmm. Interesting. Why can't I find a collectible? Actually, I should just look in my uh, tab here really quick, I guess, and see if uh, it seems to be in the catalog, right? Curiosities? No, I forget. Uh, I think it's under like constructed technology. For some reason, you would think it'd be under. No, it's not under there. Equipment, craft, crafted products, maybe? It's under a weird spot. No. Construction parts. Oh, I think it's under here because you can use them in your base. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, I think this is it right here. So, yeah, and I already have the rattle spine. Alright, well, that, that settles it. I have to find. I have to find the collectible. It is a must, because I don't have it yet. There's a whole field of them over here. I should be able to get one out of here. Come on. Absolutely nothing out here. Scan any of this stuff. Come 
on, man. Holy smokes. Come on, I thought for sure one of these had to be it. stuff at. I'll be going to fall down a crevice doing that. Seriously? Maybe I should just get up and fly to a different part of this planet. Sometimes that helps. So there just isn't much over here. There's a humming sack. Underground, apparently. It's typically where they are, I think, right? This is like for real out of control. Where the heck? Is the collectible? All right, I'm about to call the ship in. Just fly around the planet a little ways and try again. Because I'm not having any luck here. At all. Let's see, can I switch my... Oops. Yeah, there we are. There's my my main my main multi tool. All right, I still don't see it. I'm gonna call in the ship. That's it. Calling it in.
What if I should go out in the atmosphere and do it, or just kind of fly this way for a little while? Now I'll go land by this one. Get a little more lore. Hopefully we'll find the collectible. Nothing. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, alright. Iteration numbers at terminal blinks awaiting input. Let's download the data. Scenario proliferation of Get Corvax Viking Triad. Triad across majority of known realities, reoccurrence of traveler prophecy throughout life form cultures, analysis, cultivated life form grouping with minimal intervention, yet repeated motif of blank has emerged. Why? What is it that the universe desires? What does it believe to be missing? That's a good question. Solid question. Satan shirt. What do we get? Some of the knights and a Viking effigy. Craziness, why can't I find Whoa? <laughs> there are zero collectibles to be had. Next time I'm going to try going into uh, orbit a little bit, out into space, and then come back down somewhere. There we go, finally, holy smokes. Made me work for it. Yes, I bet that was it too, right? Yep, there it is, turbum growth. So let's see, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I really have four more anomalous planets to find? Is that what these are? Hmm. Okay, but I really want two. I always get two. There's another one right there. Nice. And 
And just as the sun comes up. Are you serious? Ah, oh, jeez, I gotta walk back to my ship. Lame. No, it's not that far away. I think in my previous episodes I was tracking or logging the uh, the distance I was traveling, or maybe that was that was I know for sure that was the fact I was doing that when uh, we were doing the black holes, logging black holes, and I was traveling to the center. Maybe not this. Maybe not true for tra traveling to the edge. I don't remember. Next time I leave my ship, I need to make sure the launch thrusters are charged. Up, up, and away. And that looks pretty dope, actually. Something like that. I do a halfy like this. How close to the ground? Nope, that's it, huh? Okay, we'll try that one. All right, let's get on out of here. Holy cow, this is like nothing out here. Let's go here. That looks nice. I'm liking these uh this new headset though. It sounds the the sound is really good. Is that overgrown planet with star bulbs and aggressive sentinels? An airless planet with the rusted metals. And a corrosive planet. Ah, let's keep on moving.
I'm making some decent headway today. Okay, on the jump range, there's 1443, let's go there. And here we are. Material fusion balanced medium conflict level one planet, two moons. Solalium. What kind of moons does it have? Chromatic fog moon with the ancient bones. See what the other moon got to offer. A dusty moon? Yeah, alright, well. I was just lying down here and claim this claim this stellar object. Oh, it's a little stormy. It's a little stormy. Don't know where the ground is. There it is. Well, this looks like a good spot as any. Combustible dust. Oh, and nasty creatures. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. Alright, let's keep on trucking. So one of these probably, this guy right here, let's do it. Let's call in the freighter. I think I think my frigates are back. Are they? Yeah, I think I just heard them come in, right? I think the frigates are done with their mission anyway. Should be. Fleet command online, calibrating. Let's debrief the commander. Yeah, log entry 207, got uh, discovery data worth 22 units. Five thousand units, a Gek relic, superconducting fiber. A. That's it. All right, we'll go send the boys on a 
a decently long mission now. Since we're going to be offline. Coming up here pretty soon. Yeah, four and a half hours. Easy, difficult, one star rating. Something the boys can take care of. On your way, good sirs. Let's go sell this stuff I just picked up. Oh, and I gotta go put my collectible away. Let's go do that. Okay, so we got this. And where's the spine there, it is? Nice. What's in this container? Oh man, got a bunch of modules in there. That's good to know. <laughs> Gosh. Alright, well, I want to sell stuff. Like this sodium diode, I think. Sure, why not? The lemium. Hexaberry. Uh, anything else? Spiking effigy. Freighter inventory. Sell that sack venom, the kek relic, superconducting fiber. That's it. Nice. See if we can hit 770 tonight. It's really only a couple more jumps, so should be able to get there. Come on, what's this? What's this other star? Nope, how to jump range. Alright, we'll go here. Five planets and one moon. Where's the moon? I can't see it. It's on the other side of here. Yep. All right. Well, I'm not interested in your planets, so we're just going to keep on going. Eight hundred, thousand, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. Ooh, come on, come on, this guy right here. No, seriously. Ah. Yeah, was one of these okay? Yeah, we can go there. Cotton 
the old caustic planet. The old caustic planet treatment. That's it. One planet here, huh? Alright, well, let's go then. There we go, we're gonna break 7,700 or 770,000 light years done. Nice. 1247, 13. Ooh, 1445, tranquil conflict level scientific. It's an excellent, excellent spot to go. Six planets and no moons here. Let's see what kind of planets we got here. An airless planet. That would be fun to go bounce around on. A corrosive planet. This one looks quite interesting. It looks like it's got some red on it. Desert planet. High energy planet. Decaying nuclear planet. Those are always exciting. And a tropical planet. That was everybody, right? Yeah. Well, let's go check out this tropical planet just for fun. We gotta stop and do a little exploring now and again. Can't just be jumping all the time. Maybe I'll pass up. I wanna get a base like out here on the edge somewhere. Ah, crap. Ran out of fuel. I've actually almost used up my harp, my hyperdrive. Well, that's quite the trip over here to this this little tropical planet, this little paradise in the middle of space. Oh yeah, a little space, a little space pirate action here. Bring it on. Bring it on, my little space dudes, my little space pirates. Oh, you found my salvage data, did you? Well, aren't, aren't you guys just in for a treat? All right, where are you coming in at? I don't see you. You're behind me already, all right. Thanks for stopping by, fellas. Now I'm on, I'm on my way to my my new my new home planet. I'm guessing, just by the looks of it, looks really nice. It's got the tropical vibe with the star bulbs and the salt and the paraffiniums and the activated cappers, all the things. Oh, and it's super rainy and stormy. Isn't that pleasant? Whoa. Are there any 
settlements here? All right, well, we're just gonna land. See what it's all about. Painfully hot rain with unwavering sentinels and rich flora and limited fauna. This does just sound like a gem in the middle of of the desert. Okay, there. Blew up for the last time. You're welcome. That's kind of interesting how it's got uh, this kind of rocky terrain right here, and then you get up into here, and there's some grass happening. I guess I would be kind of interested to see what it looks like when there isn't a storm happening. Oh, well, isn't it my lucky day? Quite interesting. Blue grass, green trees. It does look quite nice. Oh, got the stone of knowledge. But I'm probably gonna have to pass on it. Because look, it's not even storming, but it is still raining. <laughs> Hazardous flora. Yep. Alright. Well, that was fun. Alright. Let's do one more jump. One more jump. And that's going to do it for this episode I think unless something really spectacular happens nine hundred thousand twelve hundred oh. fourteen thirty five rowdy conflict level a jump range Critical. Relax, scientific. Let's go there. One planet, one moon. Let's scan them. What do we got going on here? Cactus flesh, it's a dusty, a dusty, dusty planet. Acidic moon. All right, so nothing too, too spectacular. Let's go check out the space station. my friends well I think that is gonna do it for me this evening so I do want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by saying hi checking out today's adventure in no man's sky wow that was that was actually quite eloquent <laughs> uh, it's fun to be back into the game I, I'm uh, you know I'm a little a little bit board jump into the edge but i really want to get there and then and then it's time to move on to do something else i want to build a, a massive 
uh, base, do something cool. Um, you know, not nothing like what the the masters do out there, but uh, I have never really built anything, so maybe we'll do that uh, after I make it to the edge of El, El Capulo. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the simulation. Peace.